Well, Rob, some neighbors say the tornado came here so fast they didn't even have a time chance to get into their basements. Overall, there are 130 homes that were damaged. 22 are uninhabitable. And of course, there is that one home that was completely leveled. Insulation dangling in the trees, overturned cars, siding ripped off, and a home completely obliterated. Their kitchen is now in my pool. Um, their bedroom is strewn all over their clothes. Their bathroom is somewhere back there. When I came outside, I saw there was no house, so immediately I know there's, there's two older people. I tried to help. Neighbors helped get the homeowners out. They were sleeping when the tornado destroyed their home. And while the elderly couple recovers in the hospital, their family spent some time today trying to salvage any memories. Just to have it all like gone like this, just to wake up one morning, it's really it's upsetting. The damage in this Naperville subdivision goes on for blocks, drive down Spice Circle, and one house after the other has been deemed uninhabitable, including the Saez's house. I don't care about this stuff, but what you see here is a miracle that my son is alive and us is all right. Leandro Saez's wife had seconds to rescue their nine year old son from his bedroom before this piece of wood came through the roof, puncturing the boy's bed and pillow. You see? We were delayed like five seconds. He wasn't alive today. And while sirens did go off, other residents say the tornado came so fast they made it to their basements after the twister already hit. Within 30 seconds, glass was flying, cuts were going. Um, uh, our on wire was flying across the room. As residents digest the incredible damage that was done here, many are still in disbelief that a tornado touched down in Naperville. When you think of like a tornado hitting Naperville, you just can't imagine it. You know, I've only seen this in the movies or this only happens in Texas, right? No, not just Texas, Illinois, too. Some neighbors say they will now definitely take those tornado sirens seriously. And as frustrating and time consuming all of this cleanup is, one neighbor just said to me, it's amazing how many neighbors are helping each other. Also, incredibly grateful that everyone made it out alive. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.